If you hate accessibility, then these last two weeks are for you. Master League Premier and Master League Open. Uh, this video, we will go over Master League Open rankings and teams. And then last week, Master League Mega Edition uh, and the Hoenn Cup. So I just went over this morning. I just went over the top uh, ranked Pokemon for Premier. And Premier is very small meta, right? There's only like, even though there's like a top 20 list, I think there's only like 11 or 12 unique Pokemon because it's like, the normal version and the shadow version there, there's there's like 10 to 12 pokemon that dominate the premiere in in open league there's a lot more pokemon that are are valuable right you have um i'm gonna just kind of i haven't i don't think i've gone over the open premiere to open uh league rankings too much so ground is first with the new precipice blades uh i think the home tour is going down this weekend yeah i think it's going down this weekend so uh you may see more uh, people with this new move. Uh, Lugia's 2 and 5, 2 and 6, always a safe swap, so bulky. Dragon Tail just does well overall. Arrow Blast is a nuke, even resisted. Um, you had a lot, so it just breaks down to like a lot of dragons. Giratina is a tank, spammy dragon, also plays like a ghost roll. Kiram with the uh, Glaciate as a, as a new ice, yeah, ice charge move. There's Dragonite on here. Um, there is, uh, nope. Giratina Origin on here, Zekrom, Reshram, Shadow Dragonite, right? So you're, that's the thing. Dragonite can just, dragons are so powerful in this game, and that's why you see a lot of them on thing. Um, a lot of like, uh, the Psychics are, are Lugia, which I said just like a big safe swap. Solgaleo um, is a Psychic and Steel, I believe. Uh, so yeah, so Psychic Fangs as, as a bait move, and then Iron Head as the Steel move. Uh, Mewtwo, um, we don't need to talk about Mewtwo because you know what Mewtwo does. Uh, Meloetta, same thing, it's a quick attack. Uh, it's, I think it's, what is Meloetta's typing? Is it Psychic Normal? Uh, so Psy Shock, Dazzling Game combo there. And then you have Fairies. So you have Zacian, which is a fairy, but acts more of like a, it's not a true fairy in the sense that um, Florgus and, and Xerneas are more like focus on like your your fairy type moves. This is more just like nukes. Close combat, you can run wild charge, you can run play rough. Um, Xerneas, you do run moves back and close combat. So I guess that's like a worse version of Zacian. And Florgas is more of your just like pure fairy. Disarming voice and Moonblast only moves there. Uh, and then Gyarados as a water type Pokemon that still has Dragon Breath. So Gyarados, I always say this with Gyarados. When you can run Dragon Breath, but you don't take super effective from Dragon yourself, you're in a good situation. So... Have that with Crunch, which hits super effective on the Ghosts and the Psychics. Um, and then Aqua Tail, spam for like Groudon. So pretty nice. Eveltal, Eveltal is one of those nice Pokemon too, because, oh, I mean, if you get walled by the Fairy, there's not much you can do. But outside of like a Fairy, there's a lot of Psychic, there's a lot of Ghosts. You hit well in just neutral situations. So I really like Eveltal in this meta. Uh, and that's basically it. So let's look at just, I, I put three teams together. Again, I do not play open, because I do not have any of these Pokemon at level 50. So I just started with Groudon with like Precipice Blades. I'm like, that's interesting. This new move um, struggles against like Dragonite because it's a it's a flyer, right? So you don't ground and fire and yeah, fire and it's a dragon, right? So you, you don't have anything to throw at that. Uh, but outside of that, you do pretty well down the board. So I, I covered it with Florgus because it's a hard to answer Dragonite. So they actually cover their weaknesses pretty well. Ho Ho is a little bit of weak is a actually big weakness because Ho resists Fairy and you don't really have a move either to throw with the Groudon. So I put in a Pokemon that can beat it, Zekrom, because you resist the fire type moves. You can pick a third Pokemon uh, that can also deal with that. I tried like Kyogre, because Kyogre will beat the Groudon better. Um, and it will beat Ho-Ho, but then you're like kind of another out of, out of weakness onto Dragonite. So just kind of play around with the third, um, depending what you have in your inventory. So the next one is I started with... Lugia. I start with Lugia because I'm like Lugia. I know is the best safe swap in this meta. It's just because like even if it comes, even if you have like Yavelta, which is a dark Pokemon, you're just like there's no hard losses, right? You're gonna lose in some of these things, but Lugia just acts as like um, a sponge. It's so tanky. An Arrow Blast is such a hard hitting move that even if it's like resisted, it still does so much damage. So I covered its weaknesses with Dragonite. Uh, as you see here, Mewtwo, Yavelta, Giratina, Zekrom. Like Dragonite, take care of that. And then looking through, I'm like, and then to cover like fairies, weakness, stuff like that. I'm like, are we really running a triple, triple flyer team? 
And then I got to thinking and I'm like, there are only, there's like no rock, right? If you go down to Melmetal, Melmetal is the only one that like rock slide, unless like Mewtwo runs it, but like for the most part, it's like Melmetal is the only one that with it. And then Hoho will, well, if you just kind of ramp up there, you can do the okay there. And I guess not ramp up, you had you throw the earthquake. Um, and then the other thing that is electric. And so Zekrom is the only real electric here, but even in the Dragonite matchup, you hit super effective with that. Um, and even the loss is Ho-Ho and Zekrom because Ho-Ho can throw Earthquake, which will do super effective. And um, Lugia is just a tank, right? So even though you you have triple weaknesses across the board, they're not as relevant in open match leagues so you can get away with it i've seen triple flyer strategy work before um so i think it could work again and then i started with me too because this is so sad i love me too so for those of you who haven't been playing master league from the beginning the meta in like seasons one through like five or six before they went to level 50 and before they introduced all these other pokemon like evelta wasn't around and some of the hardest answers um like zayshan wasn't around evelta wasn't around zekaram wasn't around Reshiram wasn't around. Before that, it was like Groudon. It was Groudon, Giratina to a certain extent, Dragonite, Mewtwo, uh, Gyarados, and like Mamoswine I've used multiple times in it. Zarude wasn't around. Palkia came a bit later. So Mewtwo was like an all-star. I, I was my best Pokemon to use. I used it as a safe swap constantly because it would never really get hard punished. Giratina was the hardest answer to it, but you, you still get like double psychic off. So it has a and again, as someone who's played only like red early on, it has a place in my heart. But it is not as strong <laughs> anymore. It's still like chips. The problem is like you have Eveltal and Zarude, which is like if you're running Shadow Ball in it, you're just, you're walled. There's nothing you can do. You're just going to get destroyed. So that's why I have it on the lead. I don't mind it on the lead because like you can just uh, sci like side strike and bail. Like it, it is, the side strike still hits like 50% on <laughs> like almost anything neutral situation. So Mewtwo is still pretty strong overall, just like not as strong as it used to be. So I, I paired it with Kiram because Kiram had the new the new move. And it, like look at down the board, like as a Dragon and Ice, it's got a lot of wins and not a hard losses. So that is something I'm looking forward to building up eventually when I do build up. And then the third, there wasn't like a clear recommendation. And I'm just like, go with what I know. And what I know is Dialga. And same thing, you're going to lose to Groudon pretty hard now, especially with the new move. Um, and Fairies, there's... Not much you I mean you have the iron head, right? So you can throw out that, but uh otherwise Dialga is Dialga, right? You know what you're getting. You're getting a super bulky Pokemon, you're getting attack like decent attack heavy, a Draco Media for Nuke. Um so it's pretty good day on the board. Yeah, so good luck if you're playing open. Again, I have none of these Pokemon XL'd. None of these I don't I, I don't even have Hondos for most of these. So if you have any videos you want me to showcase them, please send them in the link in the description. I will for sure showcase next week. Uh, I will be playing Premiere this week. Uh, so if you would like some Premiere suggestions, go check out the video that I posted this morning. I'll link it right here. Uh, and that is it. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next one.